All right, starting off with a feature I just discovered, and it is that there is built-in background noise in your Apple devices. So all you have to do is open up your settings, go to accessibility, then go to audio and visual, go to background sounds, and then just toggle it on and you will see a list of different sounds you can choose from. Then to access it, all you have to do is just swipe down and there will be a little ear icon there and you can just tap it and turn it on whenever you want some background noise. Then we have Quick Note, which is perfect for writing yourself a quick reminder or note without disrupting your process too much. All you have to do is swipe up from the right side of your screen and you will see a little note pop up and you can draw on it, type on it, all of the same things that you do within the Notes app. It's just on this little floating note box here. And I really like this because like I said, you don't have to disrupt whatever you're already doing on your screen and move to a different tab. You can just quickly swipe up, write down your note and continue with your process so it's not too distracting to what you're already doing. So when you swipe up from the left side of your screen, you can take a screenshot of whatever is currently on your iPad. And then by just going to the top and toggling on a full page, you will see that it is showing the full web page right there. And you can save this as a PDF. You can highlight it and mark it up in any way you like. This is great if you're doing research on something. This is really helpful for any research you're doing, whether it's for school or work, and it can just really be a time saver and just have all the information right there screenshotted and you can and just mark it up as much as you'd like. This tip is another huge time saver on the iPad. So all you have to do to select multiple photos at a time is go to your photos app and press and hold on one of the photos and then just go ahead and tap the rest of the photos and they will stack on top of each other and you can move these into different apps. This is great if you wanna drag and drop photos into something like Canva or if you're just looking to rearrange and reorganize photos within your photos app. And another cool thing is that this also works on Google, which is awesome if you are compiling a bunch of different images on the internet, you can just drag and drop them right into your Photos app. If you wanna start learning how to use your iPad in new fun ways, I highly recommend checking out Skillshare. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different courses. One of my favorite classes I've ever taken is Vashti Harrison's Illustrating a Shareable Time Lapse. And I definitely didn't think I had the skills to do this kind of art style, but she walks you through it every step of the way and makes it really easy. You can see on the screen my final project, which I was pretty impressed I was able to draw this as as a very new beginner. Skillshare has so many amazing classes for the iPad from lettering, illustrating, digital painting, seriously so many awesome classes. I'm gonna have a link in my description and the first 1,000 people to sign up for Skillshare using that link will get one month free trial on Skillshare. It's a great way to start out 2023 and I hope you enjoy and have fun. To make a new focus, all you have to do is swipe down and hit on the focus tab and hit plus. From there, you can create your own custom focus, which I think is a underrated feature that not many people I feel like are using, but I absolutely love making a bunch of different focuses for different tasks. So here you can see I'm making a reading focus, which will be when I'm using my iPad for reading and audiobooks. But you can also make focuses for work, unplugging, working out, schoolwork, studying. There is endless options and I think it's great if you are trying to maximize your productivity on the iPad because it will only show you certain apps, you'll only get notifications from certain people, and the home screen and device will be set up for you to stay focused on whatever task you're trying to focus on. Hand gestures really speed up the overall process of maneuvering the iPad. So one of my favorites is using four fingers to just swipe through all of your different apps that you're currently on. You can also just swipe up from the bottom and all of your apps will pop up and you can just scroll through them this way as well. And when you're within an app, you'll see that little gray bar at the bottom and you can just quickly swipe through your apps like this. And these are just a few different ways to maneuver your iPad really quickly. Stage Manager is somewhat new to the iPad and I feel like I don't see anybody using this very much. I feel like it definitely needs some updates, but overall it is a really great way to multitask within different apps on your iPad. 
I really love how easy it is to toggle between different apps. I also love that you can edit the size and shape of your rectangle of the app and you can kind of move it around and customize it and make different pages that are going to work for you, different workflows and multitasking. And this is great for whenever I'm planning out my Instagram posts. I will have Pinterest up on one side and Canva up on the other. This one is especially great if you are using something like a magic keyboard with your iPad and it really enhances the experience of using it and makes it feel kind of like a laptop. I always have a shortcut leading directly to my current planner that I'm using right on my home screen and it's a super easy process to set it up and it makes it super quick and fast to just easily access your most used templates and most used apps. So all you have to do is go to the shortcuts app on the iPad, hit plus to add whatever shortcut you want to and you just search in the bar for your specific action you want it to take. Then all you have to do is pick a title and an app icon and you will add it to the home screen and it is there to easily access whatever you want it to. I love using shortcuts. They are great and definitely super helpful and a time saver. These are some of my favorite features for productivity and there's definitely more, but these are just some of my favorites that I wanted to share with you guys today. So let me know if you guys learned any new ones and comment below if there's any that I missed that you think are your favorite productivity features on iPad or just any Apple products in general. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.